Breaking tonight, four Boston College students attacked with acid overseas. Officials say they were at a train station in France when a woman sprayed it in their faces. The attack happened early this morning in Marseille. The young women are all juniors studying abroad. WBZ's Jim Smith is live at BC with the breaking details. Jim. Katie and Ken, this is a really strange story, and tonight it has everybody talking here on the Boston College campus. The four students, apparently the victims of a totally random attack. That's horrible that it happened. I hope that they're okay. Shock on the campus of Boston College. Word quickly spreading that four BC students are the victims of a bizarre attack in Marseille, France. The four were sprayed in the face with acid by a woman at a train station. Reports say two were burned in the face, the other two treated for shock. Fellow students here quick to react. It's scary to think that you don't know what could happen to you, especially when you're like in an environment where you're supposed to be studying. So I guess you just have to be careful everywhere you go. I think that it's very scary, especially because I want to study abroad. The students are identified as Courtney Silverlake. Charlotte Kaufman, Michelle Krug, and Kesley Costin. Authorities now say this does not appear to be terrorism. They say the suspect appears to be mentally disturbed. It's just one of those things that you can't control. It's kind of scary. Um, I know for me in particular, I didn't go to France because I was afraid of terrorism, but this doesn't seem like it's that kind of incident. It could have happened to anybody. It's horrific. The attack happened Sunday morning. There were witnesses. One saying they called security and the woman who threw the acid simply sat on a bench and did not move. Back at BC, the college says the students are fine considering the circumstances, although they may require additional treatment for burns. It's scary. I mean, we were just abroad ourselves. Um, and, uh, you know, our parents and, and even the faculty here at BC made a point to, to tell us to be aware of your surroundings because obviously there's been a lot of stuff going on. So obviously everybody here at BC very concerned about the welfare of these four students. But recently in the last few minutes, the BC newspaper, The Heights, reported that one of the victims made a Facebook post saying that she and her friends anticipate a quick recovery. Live at BC tonight, Jim Smith, WBZ News.